My name's Todd Shelley. I'm here at the gun ranch here in Morgan, Utah today. We've uh, had a lot of guys call us and wanting to know how to, to take care of the rifle and how to clean the rifles. A lot of guys ask us how often they should clean their gun. You know, a lot of your bench rest shooters will let their gun go 70, 80, 100 rounds, but I'll always clean mine when it's got maybe 60, 70 rounds through it or I'm done at the end of the year. But I always take, when I go into the field with my hunting rifle, I, I usually have 20, 30 rounds through it. And uh, then at the end of the year, if I'm done, I, that's when I clean my gun. We'll first start by removing the bolt. We'll use a bore guide. This is a custom made bore guide for this gun. The reason we use this is because what it allows you to do is it guides your rod straight through into the barrel so you don't damage the throat of that barrel. So this just feeds right through there and this is real critical to, to use a high quality board guide. Guys have brought their guns and they're, they're, they're sticking their, their rod down, down, down the muzzle and cleaning it that way and that, that's a no-no. You can really damage your gun doing that. Where you get your accuracy is on that crown of that barrel and if you damage that, uh, you're gonna lose a lot of accuracy. It's just not the way to do it. That board guide just fits in there right where the, the round will fit. And we'll first start by running some KG1 carbon remover. Uh, this will take the powder and that residue out of there. We'll first start by running one wet patch of the KG1 carbon remover. See that's a little bit dirty. We'll then take our rod with the brush. All we're using is just uh, a simple little brush nylon we always use nylon brushes we don't use any of the bronze brushes or anything like that we use the nylon brush and they're just caliber specific this is for a, a 65284 we'll saturate that a little bit and we'll just go back and forth be real careful with your brush going out the end of the barrel you see how I'm kind of doing that right there I used to go back and forth probably 15 20 times Then another, run another wet patch of the KG1 carbon remover. We'll run one more. I'll run one more wet one and it should have come out pretty clean. You can see that last patch there is fairly clean, no residue on it. That's why we like using the KG1 uh, carbon remover. It works quickly, there's no smell to it, and it works really quick. We'll now run a wet patch of the KG12 copper remover. Your carbon's always on top of your copper, so we'll run a wet patch of that through there. And then to get the copper out, this stuff works really quick, but we'll probably have to scrub this back and forth probably 30 to, 30 to 40 times. Once and back counts as one, so we'll do that real quick from action to end. Most of your copper that stays is right at the end of the muzzle, and you'll, you'll be able to see that. But Take a dry patch and get some of that dirty stuff out of there. Then we'll take our, the KG3, this is the degreaser. This will clean that out really, really good. Get your wet patch of that. You'll want to push that degreaser through there until your patch comes out clean. Run one more dry one. You can see that fat patch is fairly clean there. I'll run one more with the degreaser. This will just get everything out of it. You can see that's fairly clean. Then what we do is we take the KG4 gun oil. What this is supposed to do 
is to re represent a fouled ba barrel so that first shot accuracy will be there for you. And, and you don't need a lot, you just need a little bit. I always shoot a few rounds through my gun before I take it into the field, but in case you don't, this, this should really help you. The barrel's clean. We pull, remove the bore guide. We take a little bit of this degreaser. And we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna clear out the chamber area where your round goes. Just push that in there, and kind of just twist that around and move that back and forth. We'll then, we'll then put a little bit of this degreaser on our swab that cleans the lug area inside your action, inside your chamber area. You can, see, you can see what we got out of there on that. Then one of the most important things you can do is once your gun's all clean, wipe your bolt down, put a little bit of bolt grease on the back side of the lug that faces you as you're holding it. What this does is keep that from galling where that, there's so much pressure there. Always put a little bolt grease on there and work that back and forth and you're ready to go. We do also make a cleaning kit, so if anybody's interested in a cleaning kit, let us know the caliber of gun you have and, and the make and we can put all these products in it and, and a board guide and put everything in there that you need to take care of your gun. A lot of guys come out here and think that cleaning a gun's a real, real big deal, but it's really not. Once you have the right products and the right things and, and the equipment, it's really, really simple. If there's any, anything here that you have questions on, feel free to email us and we can answer those questions for you. Mm -hmm.